assalamu alaikum and uh, the next practical is about the study of the skeleton of labiorahita which is the scientific name of rahu fish the endless skeleton of labiorahita is a completely ossified and form the framework of the body which support the body organ it is divided into the axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton the axial skeleton which include the skull vertebral column and the ribs and the appendicular skeleton which include the girdles which is a pelvic and pectoral girdles and the fins skull skull of labiorahita is extremely complex structure which composed of many membrane dermal bones and cartilage bone skull is divided into the cranium cranium is a part of skull which includes the brain and paired with the olfactory optic and auditory capsule and the visceral or branchial arches visceral arches are loosely attached with the skull visceral arches actually the pieces of cartilage and the bone which support the pharyngeal region and also help to attach the jaw with the skull the four region in a skull which are recognizable the first is the ethmoidal region second is the orbitotemporal region aortic region and the occipital region ethmoidal region include the ethmoidal bone which is present upper part of the nasal cavity and the nasal septum orbitotemporal region which is present in front of auditory region aortic region uh, is the aortic uh, region is responsible for hearing and equilibrium occipital region present at the posterior part of the skull and it related with the vision and the visual perception here is a diagram of the skull with the dorsal and the ventral view next is the vertebral column the vertebral column is differentiated into the distinct bony vertebrae it is divided into the anterior and posterior region Interior region is the trunk region, and the posterior region is called posterior caudal region. Below is the diagram of the both these regions, which include neural spine, neural arc, neural canal, post zygopophysis, zygopophysis, centrum, hemal canal, hemal arch, hemal spine, and hemal connection. Next is the appendicular skeleton. First, pectoral girdle and the fin. Pectoral girdle is made of two region. The lateral area is called primary endoskeleton girdle, and remaining portion is called secondary dermal girdle. Primary endoskeleton girdle consists of three replacing bone: scapula, coracoid, and mesenchoracoid. Scapula is the bone of the pectoral girdle, which uh, articulate with the pectoral fin. Coracoid, which form the base of the pectoral. girdle and the mesenchoracoid which is present above the coracoid and interior of the scapula the remaining portion consists of clathrum supraclathrum postclathrum and post temporal clathrum uh, is the bone large bone that extend upward from the base of the pectoral fin and anchor to the cranium above the gill and it form posterior edge of the gill chamber next is the pectoral fin pectoral fin is supported by the 19 lepidotrachea which are attached with the four radials lepidotrachea is the dermal elements which present at the distal margin of the bony fish fins and the radial articulate with the scapula here is the diagram of pectoral girdle next is the pelvic girdle and fins pelvic girdle is placed anterior to the anal fin and the level of the cloaca like pectoral girdle pelvic girdle also form of two similar half and each half is form of pelvic bone and pelvic cartilage next is pelvic fin pelvic fin is supported by nine lepidotrachea and the three radials these three radials articulate with the posterior border of the pelvic bone this is the diagram of pelvic girdle which include pelvic bone pelvic cartilage radials and on the right side it have pelvic fin and this is all about today lecture thank you